services, Bees Watching Nigeria, TV News Briefs, and here are the highlights. Comparing best in acquisitions, South aims for African growth with malting plants, Nara devaluation imminent, stock market investors trade 1.8 billion on 4,002 deals, Yakubu condemns criticism against NNPC, it is still at ETA emerge top gainers of number 14 in 2013. I am blessing you. And I am precious. Campari to invest in acquisitions. Italian drink company Campari has predicted flat margins this year, noting that it is as a result of higher spending on advertising, even as, even as it plans on investing in acquisitions to add to its list of drink brands. On Wednesday, the company, which is famous for its beta red aperitif, agreed to buy Canadian Spirits Group, Forty Creek Distillery, for 185.6 million Canadian dollars and said it has some 350 million euros to spend on other deals. SAP aims for African growth with Martin plants. The local arm of SAP Mila Martin Division says it is looking to supply products to other African countries following its investment to expand capacity. According to the unit's general manager, Thinos Van School, SAB is also looking to lift the local Bali farming industry through support services and guarantees in order to ensure local Bali supply as it gears up for higher production capacity. SAB Morton is a wholly owned subsidiary of the brewer, began construction work in January on a 700 million brand Morton plant in Go Teng, which will replace a much older and smaller plant. Nara devaluation imminent. Investigations have revealed that the devaluation of Naira is imminent following dwindling foreign reserves, which is currently below $39 billion and is likely to fall further. Another factor causing the increase in the cash reserve ratio is the continued pressure on the Naira and growing effects of the quantitative easing tempering by the United States of America. Some analysts, however, noted that oil thefts and thefts of oil money must abate while reserves must accurate for this to be achieved on a sustainable basis. Stock markets. Investors trade 1.8 billion on 4,002 deals. Investors on Thursday staked 1.82 billion on 367,193 million shares in 4,002 deals on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. This was in contrast to the 281.637 million shares worth 3.12 billion naira traded in 4,506 deals on Wednesday. The All Share Index, however, depreciated by 646.65 points or 1.65 percent to close at 38. 1,503.65 from the 39,150.30, which was recorded on Wednesday. Yakubu condemns criticisms against NNPC. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, engineer Andrew Yakubu, has condemned criticisms made against the state-owned oil company, describing them as unfair. According to him, the criticisms arose from public misconceptions of the operations of the NNPC. Speaking yesterday at the 2014 Oloibiri Lecture Series, an energy firm organized by the Nigerian Council of the Society of Petroleum Engineers, Yakubu noted that such criticisms were not only unfair, but also dampened the moral of the company's workers. It is a lot. Elta emerged top gainers of number 14 in 2013. Industry data released this week by the Nigeria Communications Commission has revealed that giant telecommunications operators in Nigeria, Etisalat and Elta, were the biggest gainers of the mobile number 14, which was introduced in April 2013 by the regulator. In the data released by the NCC, the porting activities of mobile network operators indicate 
that it is held at once the top beneficiary with a total of 23,582 portings as against 7,040 portouts, amounting to a net gain of 16,542 new subscribers from May 2013 to December 2013. While the Airtel network received 15,186 new subscribers from posting activities for the period under review. Now we all continue.